My son Soren is two years old. He just turned two years old and he has discovered the proper way to use a cell phone. He'll often steal my phone away from me and pretend to speak into it. He'll say, hello, hello. And after a while, he'll look and look and he'll say, uh-huh, uh-huh, bye-bye. And then he'll hand the phone back to me. And at this point, we don't know who he is speaking to, but it's clear he's already found a tool that's used to connect. And he is looking for that connection. Hey everyone, and welcome to The Daily Dose. My name is Maddie and I serve as a minister here at Calvary. We're so glad that you've joined us today. This week, we are talking all about hope in the dark. And today we're gonna talk about listening. We're gonna talk about listening. If you're watching on Facebook, go ahead and like and share this video. If you're watching on YouTube, click that bell so that you can stay in tune with what we're doing out here. And if you're watching on Cable Access, hello. We're so glad that you've joined us. Maybe ask a friend uh, to join you for the rest of the week. Well, I think that we are all good at connecting. We humans are good at connecting. And what I mean by that is that we have got the right tools. First of all, humans have developed a complex level of speech and understanding. And these days, we've got things like phones and tablets that have messaging systems like email and texting and phone calls and video calls. I think even COVID has shined how many tools we have to keep connected. We're the most connected that we've ever been. But in all this connecting, have we really increased our connection or just access to connection. I read a question the other day and it really stuck with me. When's the last time you sat down with someone to really listen to what they were saying? Just to listen to them. No phones around, no TV on, no kids to distract you. It was difficult for me to answer. I could think of a few high stakes conversations that I've had in the last few months, but if I'm honest, I was probably also thinking about some other things during those same conversations, like what I was gonna make for dinner that night or what time I was gonna pick up my son. I think if it's so hard for us to connect and really listen to each other in a world where accessibility to connection is so available, imagine how hard of a time we have listening to God. Going to God with our troubles, with our grief, with our suffering, it can be easy to forget to do that. But I think what's even easier to forget is that God is going to say something back to us. God is going to respond. And are we ready to listen? In the book of Habakkuk, the prophet Habakkuk reaches out to God, asking God to defeat his enemies. Beautifully, the, re the prophet responds. Uh, he says something that I think we could all use some practice saying. He goes to the Lord with his plea and then says, Now I will look to see what the Lord will say to me and what answer I'm to give to this complaint. He steps back and expects God's reply. He waits for it. He looks for it. In Psalm 46, 10, it says, Be still and know that I am God. It's one of my favorite verses. It doesn't say keep busy and know. It doesn't say do three things at once and know that I'm God. It doesn't even say be quiet and know that I'm God. It says be still, be still and know that I'm God. We have a God that hears us when we pray. We have a God who listens to us when we cry out with our deepest sufferings and our deepest pleas. And we have a God who responds. God is responding all the time through the trees and the falling snow. God reaches out to you as you sip your morning tea. Maybe God is speaking to you through your biggest distraction. But are you listening? Have you readied yourself to hear what God is saying? Are you open to the way that the Holy Spirit is moving around you? Take your grief to God. Take your grief to God. Look to God for your hope. Take it to God. And when you do, be still and be ready for God's reply. Thanks everyone for joining us today for The Daily Dose. We can't wait to connect with you tomorrow. As I walk this great unknown, questions come and questions go. Was there purpose for this pain? Did I cry these tears in vain? 
I don't want to live in fear. I want to trust that you are near. Trust your grace can be found in both triumph and tragedy. I have this hope in the depth of my soul. In the flood or the fire, you are with me and you won't let go. But sometimes my faith feels dim. Like the night will never end Will you catch every tear Or will you just leave me here I am this hope In the depth of my soul In the flood or the fire You are with me And you won't let go depth of my soul in the flood or the fire you are with me and you won't let go cause I have this hope in the depth of my soul in the flood or the fire you are with me and you won't let go with me and you won't let go.